Hey there, sign of cancer. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for the next 24 hours. Um, let's see, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all of that. I appreciate all of you. And we're gonna get started. We get started by calling in the divine white light to surround us as we do this reading. Surround you as you watch the reading, calling our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to come in and help us facilitate this reading for the betterment, for the highest good sign of cancer next 24 hours. This is the energy deck. It's the first one that we'll be pulling from and we have journey. Ooh, and door to romance too. Whoa, and victory, victory. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, I, thought, I was going to say, if you have one more card, it's going to be almost the same pull from another, from Sagittarius, but that's all right. It's not. Okay, close though. We have victory. We have blending in in a community, um, feeling like you fit in, finding a group that you just mesh really well with. And then journey, we have you going on a journey, whether, you know, who's to say this might be going on a journey with this new group of friends, or if you might be headed towards a journey towards either new romance or striking, you know, keeping that romance in your um, current life active. So something to do with a journey, a victory, a victory in a group of people, victory in a group of people. Let's see. Let me get, let me get an archetype card. We'll get an archetype card and we'll kind of add to this. Um, see, you know, what we can add if we see any more. That's why I use so many oracle cards. They, they're each, um, well, a lot different than just the tarot. So, all right. Let's see. We have Gnosis. Okay, now I'm starting to think another Leo had this. Leo had this. Um, weird. Some of the same. Some of the same cards are coming out for the signs here. Something, something neat happening. Maybe some kind of group consciousness, raising of the elevation of consciousness in general. All right, gnosis is the innermost knowing and the mystic truths. This is really nice. This is about how facts and figures um, can't really give us true knowledge. True knowledge is, it says it's yeah, dealt with the felt experience when you get true knowledge. Um, <clears throat> with every one of the senses. So the people who are drawn to this card um, involve studying mysticism, alchemy, healing, or perhaps science. So I'm going to add in there probably Reiki and stuff like that too. Um, <clears throat> this card, and if you're not, then maybe you should look into Reiki or, or um, yeah, Reiki or crystals and stuff like that, working with those. Um, okay, this card signifies a knowing that is life-changing, and once you experience it, you're forever changed because we can't not know knowledge once we know something. So, it says your eternal mystery is calling you. Study your passion in the deepest way possible. Those who say they know don't, and those who say they don't know, know. <laughs> All right, let's get you a, ooh, oh, oh, a guardian angel card get you a guardian angel card for cancer for cancer oh nice angel of new beginnings it might be talking about this journey i'm gonna be talking about this journey here um let me see angel of new beginnings 22 22 all right, you receive this card because your angels have heard your fears about letting go of things in your life. This is a time of new beginnings, new journeys, and new adventures. Sometimes when we undertake a journey, we feel remorseful about the changes that are going to be taking place in our life, and sometimes we fear what lies ahead. That says you don't have to undertake uh, these experiences on your own. You can call in your angel, your spirit team to help you by your side. 
It says if you're currently going through loss, separation of a partner or loved one, don't despair. Your angels are here to comfort you in your time of need. So think of this as a time of planting spiritual seeds of your future life. Imagine these seeds have the words hope, dream, love, happiness, and abundance, belief, and joy written in them. And your affirmation is, I am excited that my angel of new beginnings is by my side to help me let go of the past and embrace my future. And I think the journey goes this way too. So I'm thinking there's a knowing in this journey towards with something that involves a partnership that's like harmonious. This can be a business partnership too that's hormo harmonious, that's getting along. Uh, but more than likely, it probably has to do with love, I would say. But not for everybody. Let's see. Let's get you a spellcasting card from the spellcasting deck. Four. Oh, nice. I think I saw what I think I saw. Love. Hey, I knew it. I, did. I was like, yeah, we got love. We got love and empowerment. When I see the empowerment card, I think it is safe to be powerful. So anybody that gets this card might not realize quite how powerful they are. And this card is just letting you know it's safe to like sit on that seat, that throne. Of course, because you have this victory. And I think there is a knowing. There is something, something between, something between these people, this group. A knowing that maybe leads you to your journey where you find this either harmonious partnership or uh, romantic or business like partnership let's see what is community about with the tarot community for cancer please all right anxiety <clears throat> anxiety insomnia worrying worrying and then the chariot that's um that's a, that's travel so yeah this this chariot and this community card they have to do with this journey this definitely is tied to this journey somehow um the chariot is moving forward of course you're going to know about the chariot that's you sitting in your authentic self too <clears throat> that's the sign of cancer's card um, it's about balance. It's about having to go the distance and um, knowing that that it's going to take some effort. You know, this is like not a free ride. This will take some effort on your part. But victory is to be had. And especially, I think, since um, we have the card of anxiety and insomnia touching both the victory and the community, I think you'll have some kind of victory over these emotions too. All right, let's get a card on, let's get a card on Door to Romance. All right, there's a knowing, yet yeah, again, an inner knowing, an inner knowing, and it will be, you will know it by how inspiring it is to you. So this this either person or business, you will know it. You will know that it's good, good for you by, by your gut feelings. You don't have to do anything. You can passively sit there and, and let it come to you. This is going to be inspiration. This is what's going to strike the match that lights the fire that wins, that wins the whole thing. <laughs> All right, so let's get a card for Angel of New Beginnings. Knight of Swords, because this is the change, people. This is the change. You're going to start to feel empowered. In the, this new beginning, it's going to empower you. Empower you to stand in your power, in your knowing, on your throne. Knowing empowerment. Knowing empowerment and love. So, Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is all about change. And then look on the bottom of the deck, I have Nine of Cups. I was going to leave it there because that is your wish granted card. 
your wish granted whatever you wish cancer let's get you some tea leaves to wrap yeah, i am sorry about that i know it's gonna sound really weird and split up um but anyway the camera messed up so i have to do these again and i already um shuffled them out i just had to cut out part of that so bird perched waiting for news a package or letter october if somebody needs a date hat you will be playing a different role it's empowerment i think that's about that role or it might be in this harmonious relationship lightning control your anger or you will be sorry <clears throat> Crown, honor, and respect will come to you. Look at that. Hat, crown, tulip, great passion, cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control, and September for somebody, a date, and then torch for somebody. You might be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So... There you go, Cancer. Thanks for joining me and join me for your next reading. Sending love and light to you. Bye.